We have 45 minutes we need to leave, so. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hey what's up everyone, it's Courtney and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so today I'm here with my sister again and Thousand. every other time you <laughs> <laughs> and we are going to be doing a little taste test. Now um I don't know if you guys obviously probably in America and stuff you don't have the brand, but there's a, a like a biscuit company I guess yeah. um called Arnett and our, our most common chocolate over here is Dairy milk. Cadbury. 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 Uh, dairy, jeez. Our most common chocolate over here, chocolate brand, is Cadbury. So Cadbury and Arnott's have combined, done a little like collab, and we have, and we have six of their new chocolate. Five. Five of <laughs> Five of their new chocolate range, and it's pretty much just like a, like their biscuits, but in chocolate form. Yeah. So we have Jet. Which are like a cracker. cracker that you would eat, like cheese and like cabana and stuff. They taste really good, so I'm interested. And then we have the wagon wheels one, which I don't think I've ever had a wagon wheel before in my life. But our stepsister loves them. Oh, your yeah, sister. Yeah, my, my stepsister, anyway. Um, but I don't know yet. It's just like a marshmallow, like biscuit thing with jam and stuff in it. Anyways. Uh, we have iced bobo, which I've honestly never had iced bobo oh, either. Yeah, never had an iced bobo, but I guess it's like coconut, coconut on a biscuit. And jam. Coconut and jam on a biscuit. So we have iced bobo. We have scotch finger, which is amazing. Yeah, they're really good. Um, <laughs> we already know what this is going to taste like because you can get scotch finger biscuits with chocolate like on the bottom of them. But I don't know how to explain what a scotch... It's, it's just like a, like a buttery biscuit. Yeah, yeah, a buttery biscuit, but this. Oh, but yeah, they taste so good. We already know what this is gonna taste like because it's probably just I'm excited. a Scotch finger biscuit with the chocolate. Yeah. Like it's the same thing yeah. as what you can get. And the last one, which I'm probably least excited for, because it's dark chocolate, mm -hmm. and we're both not a fan of dark chocolate. And it's like breaking. <laughs> but it's the ginger nut one. Now ginger nut is literally just a ginger biscuit, pretty much. Yeah. Um, really like I'm not a fan of ginger nut biscuits. And I don't like dark chocolate, so I think we should start with the one that we think oh, we're gonna right. hate okay. the most and get it out. Um, but yeah, so let's just get trying. I guess I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited because it's very interesting to mix like biscuit, like salty flavors with like the sweetness the of chocolate. One, though. Yeah, I suppose. Okay. So the ginger nut one, like we said, is dark chocolate, and it says like the description on it. it says decadent dark chocolate filled with crunchy mm. ginger biscuit pieces i'm gonna be very surprised if i like this Same. but i'm telling myself because it's dark chocolate that means it's healthier for you so if i like it <laughs> i don't think i really would i mean i might not hate it but i don't like even the color Ooh, it's and nice. the smell of dark chocolate <laughs> give me a little piece gee i feel like the squares are really big what the hell whoa i feel like i don't know if you can see Oh my gosh, it's really far away. But the squares just seem really big. Oh, it's kind I'm of really scared. Away. Okay, ready? Three, two, <laughs> one. Oh, it hub. It tastes like ginger, really. I mean, it's not terrible. It's literally just like they crushed the ginger nut biscuits into dark chocolate. It just tastes like ginger to me. I feel like if it was milk chocolate, then maybe okay. it wouldn't. But if you like ginger and dark chocolate, I definitely recommend that, but definitely not my cup of tea. Oh. Okay, so the next one we have is Iced Bobo. Now, she's had them before, the biscuits, but I don't think yep. I've ever tried the biscuits. So, what, it's just like jam. It's like a jam biscuit with coconut, like shredded yep. coconut. You know when you get those, like, buns and they have the... Like an iced bun with coconut. And yep. coconut. Yeah. Okay, so it says, irresistible milk chocolate blended with crunchy biscuit pieces... Coconut and raspberry flavored jellies. Oh, I love those little white like, jelly things and chocolates. Oh, I think these ones have it too. The marvelous, mm, the marvelous creations chocolate has that. Yeah. And it's like my favorite. Watch me struggle for the next five minutes trying to get them over. <laughs> Milk chocolate. Oh. 
It smells like, actually that just smells like an ice flavor. <laughs> yeah. It's like raspberry, like you, that's where you can smell like raspberry. Raspberry? Yeah. Yeah, raspberry from the jellies. I feel like the squares are really, really big. I mean, at least they're generous, right? Me. Oh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Good. I've never had an ice flavor, like I've probably said a hundred times, but <laughs> if you like coconut and there's little raspberry jelly things, it tastes like a bounty. I don't think I've had one of those either. Mmm. I like that. I don't think I've got to eat a lot though. I feel like it's really sweet because mm -hmm. of the coconut and stuff. But um, you can. It definitely has a hit of the raspberry, and then there's a little hint of um, coconut. Mm. That one. That one's good. Number three, we have a wagon wheels. Um. Yeah. So wagon wheels is creamy milk chocolate packed with crunchy biscuit pieces, raspberry flavored lollies, and marshmallows. Ooh, I think this one will be good. Even though I've never had a wagon wheel, they've just never really appealed. Oh, they're just ne oh. never really <laughs> appealed to me. Um, wagon wheels for some reason, but this the squares. I know why they're big because there's only three squares across. Okay. Usually there's four or five. I ruined that. <laughs> uh oh, well, stuck there. <laughs> I mean, I still broke it evenly. I just broke three. Oh, it doesn't really smell like anything. You can just, you just can just smell the like marshmallows. Big. Oh. What else is in it? Because I feel like all I can taste is marshmallow. Crunchy pieces. Crunchy biscuit pieces. Raspberry flavored jelly. It's good. It's just very subtle, which I kind of like because I feel like, actually, maybe not. Because it'd probably make you eat more of it because it is so subtle and not so overpowering. Oh my god, I can't talk. But it's nice. And you get that occasional marshmallow. So, next, we have these two. I think we might leave Scotch Finger for last because we pretty much know what that's going to taste like. Okay, so... This one she's really excited to try, but I'm a little bit nervous. Like, it's like a salty biscuit. Salty, like, salt and sweet. Yeah. Maybe. A salty, savory biscuit with chocolate. So it just says, smooth milk, chocolate packed with salty Jats cracker pieces. So it's literally just, like, smashed up Jats inside. But I don't know if I like the concept of sweet and salty chocolate, but you never know. You never know, right? Oh, I'm getting sick. Can you hear that? Every day I hear my nose, like... Like my voice goes funny. Yeah. Okay, ready? Go. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Mm. Maybe it's. A oh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, that one I dislike more than the dark chocolate. I think I because I love jats, but like jats are supposed to be eaten with cheese and cabana. And like on a platter when you go to a party, not it put inside chocolate. Mm -mm. The aftertaste, bleh. don't recommend this one. Do not I buy this one. How I feel about it. Don't buy this one if you don't want to ruin my voice again. Don't buy this one if you don't want to ruin your love for jats, I guess. If you're like me, I love jats and the cheese and stuff, not in chocolate. Uh, I nearly said six again, yeah, number five. And the last one is the Scotch Finger. And like we said earlier, you can literally buy these biscuits with chocolate on the bottom of them. Um, you can buy them plain as well, but we have had the ones with like the chocolate underneath them, so I figure it's just going to be that. The fridge. Yeah, so we're pretty sure how this is going to taste, you know. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Delicious milk chocolate filled with crunchy, buttery biscuit pieces. Um, yeah, I'm guessing it will just taste the same as a normal biscuit with the chocolate on the bottom. Like... It's going to be more just, powerful though, because it's more chocolate. Well, yeah, it would just be more chocolate. So maybe it might not work, you never know. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's literally just. Instead of having the biscuit with the chocolate, it's the chocolate with the biscuit, if that makes sense. Like, more chocolate, less biscuit. Whereas the biscuit has more biscuit, less. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. It just has more chocolate. Yeah. 
Very good though. Mm. One thing I have noticed though, they're quite, and maybe it's because the pieces are that little bit bigger. Like I would have one or two pieces and I'd be like, you're That's done. It. I'm done. Like I can't. Which is probably good because then you're not eating as much of it, but yeah, they're definitely quite strong. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to explain, but. Make it your bed, mate. Okay, we'll do it in a second. We're nearly done. We're trying the new chocolates. You can try it in a minute. Gosh. <laughs> Little brother always. Hmm. Doesn't like to miss out, but filming with him is a nightmare. I like to. <laughs> oh my god. Can you let us finish? So that was everything for the taste test and yeah, uh, pretty much what I expected. I expected not to like certain ones yeah. um, and they pretty much yeah, taste like if you put a biscuit and chocolate together, like it's pretty straightforward. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really interesting like a biscuit company joining with the chocolate company. Um, it's something like different and yeah, I don't actually know if they're limited edition or if they're, I think they're like a new like to, to stay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I think they were also doing like drinks or whatever, but they were like mint slice and stuff and I'm not a fan of mint. No. <laughs> so anyways, that was it for the taste test. If you liked this video and want us to do more taste test videos, whether that be, I really want to do like vegan taste tests. Yeah. Like, yeah, everyone always raves about like vegan like chicken nuggets and stuff like, so let us know in the comments down below if you want us to do a vegan taste test or any other type of taste test. And we will definitely look into it. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.